This help video is designed to simplify the use of SCAL for new users or even experienced users if they've not used this function before. What I'm going to go over is understanding the basic ID. When you've connected to an ECU or opened the calibration up in the uh, latest software version, you'll sometimes see that there's two options that are asking you how you want to access this file. The first is the generic, which is OK so that you can access it, and the next one is basic. Now, the basic one, if you actually just go on, normally when you access it, you just go to OK. And that's the full generic version, every calibration you can see. If you do the same again, but go to basic, you'll notice that it's actually blank. And the reason for this is that basically we want to allow new users to be able to simplify the calibrations which you're able to view. So to do this, it's actually quite simple. You go to file, a new, and then choose your map or calibration that you're currently working on. You can do this while connected to the ECU as well. And what you need to do is go to Cal and then change user access and change Cal map access. Now when you're in here, you'll notice all the calibration tree from when you're actually connected in generic. What you need to do now is go down and actually find the calibrations that you just feel you're going to need. So for example, the base fuel injection one, maybe the end angle, maybe you're going to need the simple manifold pressure trim or the target for the closure lambda and so on and you can basically come down here and just all you need to do is actually just press the number one key or press enter and then select group one the best thing to do is literally just hit the number one key on the keyboard and it will then basically all the number one items get assigned to the basic ID so let's say we've gone over this so we can even add it so you can click a whole tree so if you want the whole of anti lag you just click highlight over it and press one idle control, say torque estimation and when you've done this what is worth doing is it's worth saving it as your like basic ID so the basic things that you feel you're going to need to adjust during any calibrating session for most of our kits most of our kits the base maps are extremely good and a lot of the PID strategies and everything unless you're changing major items of the engine or the throttle bodies they don't need touching so what you can then do is you can then go to save say select the folder you want to put it in, say the desktop or in your calibration folder select here and then enter the basic ID access file name so you could put in here like just for example test then when you've done that the most important thing to remember then is hit the F10 or OK and that saves that now if you want to come back and do it again so say you've, you've actually then got another calibration and then you want to go to cal change user access, cow map access and then go load you'll see that the test one is there or for example I have one that's like a basic ID 2016 I can just select that it loads in, press F10 now what you do is save the calibration because obviously you've changed the calibration so I save it here and just put here basic so I know that I've added the basic controls to it let me just go to file and then close it now next time I open it if I go to the basic one, I'm now going to select the basic option. And what you can see now is the SCAL tree is simplified massively. Basically the calibrations that I only generally tend to need to access when I'm doing a calibration on a, say, a GTR kit. There's only the, the two torque maps that I need to adjust maybe, or the air con or the fan control, and just the basic fueling. It just makes it simpler when you're going through it. What you can also do to make it more simple if you are wanting to use the generic version you can actually also set shortcuts now all of this is actually explained in the manual but I understand some people find it difficult to read and, and learn that way so this is why the help videos are really powerful so if you go to calibration and then go to shortcuts you can also add shortcuts with different uh, F, uh, function buttons so for example if I'm going to go to F8 so let's go set and I'm going to set it on something actually different for the minute I'm going to set it on, let's go down and just choose anything, let's put it on the torque estimation table, okay, hit OK, or F2, you can go to the fuel one, F3, F4, F5, F6, F7, 